In here, you lose track of time. Hours melt into days. Days turn into years. 30 years in my case. After so much time in solitary, I should have been getting better. But in my heart, I always knew there was no cure for what happened to me. But I kept on hoping. I knew if I waited long enough, I'd get revenge against the man who destroyed my mind. But I could only wait so long. Every day, the visions got worse. Soon I wouldn't be able to tell reality from my nightmares. But then, my life changed. He called himself Calypso. He said he ran a contest. Winner take all. In my case, first prize meant getting even with the man who stole my sanity. How could I refuse? I agreed to play. into some stinking hole, 25 feet below the ground. Benny was in bad shape. I didn't know how long he was going to hold out. Seems like forever I was screaming for someone to come and help him. Then one day, we had a visitor. The guy was an advisor to the Vietnamese. And he had his own unique idea of torture. Starvation. Benny was on his last legs, and I wasn't far behind. Five days without any food will bring any man to the edge. And the advisor said the only way I was going to survive was to eat. He gave me a knife and started laughing. He said if I wanted food, I'd have to make do with whatever I could find in the hole. I tried to block out what was happening. I knew what he wanted me to do. But there was no way I was going to give him the satisfaction. Benny died two days later. I couldn't look at him. I didn't even want to think about it. It's amazing the things you'll do to survive. I think Benny would have understood. They say the mind bends and twists in order to deal with the horrors of life. I think my mind bent so much it snapped in two. When a platoon of GIs freed me two weeks later, they tried to take the helmet off. I killed four of them before they took me down. After that, they shipped me back to the States and put me in the asylum. But now I have a chance to get even with the man who pushed me over the edge made Benny die. You're in violation of Midtown City Code 4432. Step out of your vehicle and surrender peacefully. Time's up. I'd 
done it. The battle was over. I'd won the contest. I went to see Calypso. Turns out he was a man of his word. He told me it was time for a reunion. After all these years, the advisor looked exactly the same. He didn't know who I was, but I recognized him. I'd been seeing his face in my nightmares for 30 years. Calypso had one more special prize for me. Dinner for one. 30 years is a long time to be locked away. You get kind of tired of asylum food. But after all this time, something new was on the menu. As much as I hated to admit it, over the years I developed a special craving for human flesh. <laughs>